Everyone knows who EasyJet is, right? They are a popular British low-cost carrier operating in the UK as well as to other parts of Europe. They were even the showcase airline on the popular British TV series Airline UK which went on for 11 series from 1998 to 2007. EasyJet is actually partially owned by Easy Group Limited, a British conglomerate controlling a number of Easy brands including Easy Car, Easy Cleaning, Easy Money, Easy Taxis, just to name a few. While Easy Group has a relatively small interest in EasyJet compared to more than 10 years ago, they still control the Easy brand and license and have been very protective of it ever since. A number of startup airlines have faced their wrath over claims of similar branding all of them buckling under the pressure of legal action. In 2018, Easy Group began legal proceedings against Colombia's EasyFly, citing that the South American airline infringed on the company's Easy trademark. The Colombian airline and Easy Group eventually agreed on a settlement in August 2020, with EasyFly eventually rebranding as Click. Fast forward to 2023, and Easy Group has once again flexed its powers this time taking on a very small airline called Easy Air, a carrier based in Bonaire in the Caribbean Netherlands Antilles. Founded in 2000, the Caribbean carrier operates flights from Bonaire to Curaçao, Aruba and parts of Colombia with its fleet of three Saab 340 turboprops. They also operate two Learjet Air ambulances. While Easy Air has been around for quite some time, they only received their air operator certificate in December 2019 allowing them to operate regularly scheduled commercial flights. Easy Group Limited, being who they are, claim that Easy Air infringed on the group's intellectual property rights. The conglomerate also demanded that Easy Air immediately stop selling tickets to European and American citizens and nationals flying to and from Colombia. Being a small company, Easy Air quickly conceded to the threat, opting to rebrand rather than attempting to take the matter to court, citing financial implications it could have for the airline. Rene Winkle, Easy Air's CEO, acknowledged the situation and said that while he does not agree with Easy Group's actions, his company does not have the financial resources to take on such a large corporation. In a statement to Aruba.nu, he said, Obviously, we do not agree with the position of Easy Group. However, we are a relatively small regional carrier and we cannot afford to take years of legal action with a very wealthy group while the outcome of the struggle is uncertain. The Easy Group is a very wealthy group with a huge capacity and for that, we as a local player are simply not a party. With that in mind, on October 25th, the carrier showcased its new name and logo. Can anyone guess what it is? It's Z Air. Yep, they literally took correction fluid and removed the letter E. The slogan has also been changed from the easiest way to fly to the simplest way to fly. The company further stated that the rebranding exercise will be completed gradually over the next few weeks. While I get the seriousness of the situation, I thought Easier would have at least come up with a new and interesting name, but I guess it's the easiest solution? All jokes aside, Maybe this might have been a stretch. I don't think Easy Air would have truly been able to capitalize on the Easy trademark given that they operate in two completely different parts of the world. The spelling and branding also differ with the only common attribute being that Easy sounds just like Easy in EasyJet. Even the airline's colors differ where Easy Air uses a combination of blue and red while EasyJet uses orange. Let me know in the comments what you all think about this situation. Is it justified or is Easy Group just being a bit overzealous? If you like today's content, please feel free to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future updates. You can also receive aviation and travel related updates via our newsletter. Link to that in the description.